All right, so I got 10 things cut from Resident Evil 4 Remake. Let's get right to the video. You're not a gang member, you're a tourist. I don't even know what you said. Did you say that? I got it, let me know that, that I it. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things cut from Resident Evil 4 Remake. Let's get right into it, man. With this remake being a bit of a reimagining, there are a few things that have been changed. Some things have been added, and others have been cut from the game entirely. Stop the mojo plays for what the video. What content do you miss in Resident Evil 4 Remake? Let us know in the comments. I will see. The main thing that I miss is the ability to kill the merchant over and over again. Oh, we wow. can't even point our gun at this guy. Wait there, stranger. This video contains spoilers. The merchant. Oh, no. I mean, why would I want to kill the merchant? Ooh. Not bad, right? Before we oh my god. We publish content. Why would I want to kill the merchant though, bro? The sure merchant out here helping me out, bro. Let the merchant get his get his product, our bro. Let him get his, come on, man. Let him get his change, bro. You got QTEs. a family to be. Shooting oh QTEs. Uh I didn't even know that Resident Evil 4 had QTEs, but this looks kind of cool. Resident I'll be real. Resident Evil game were the quick time events. While the remake has some QTEs, they are far from impressive compared to the original. Ooh, Probably just, two of the ooh, biggest QTEs ooh, that are missing ooh. have to be the boulder runs and the knife fight. Throughout the early portion of Resident Evil 4, ooh, ooh, players ooh, had to ooh, outrun ooh, boulders that ooh, the villagers somehow pushed ooh. in hopes to turn us into a pancake. Oh my god. The knife fight, while still in the remake, doesn't hit the same. The original plays out like a cutscene, and when we're least expecting it, we're prompted to attack or defend. I kind of like the it that way, though. In the I'll original be real. kept us on our toes. Even cutscenes weren't safe to sit the controller down. I kind of like it like that. Jammed clock tower. Jam the clock tower. What is this about? Oh, what you gotta fix it or something? The clock tower makes its appearance in the castle section of the remake. However, it looks a bit different. In the remake, it's a pretty straightforward section. Get to the top and defeat anyone in your path. Turn it up a little bit. In the original, we have to unjam the clock, fighting our way up and finally fighting our way back down. This section was great, as we were in a rather narrow yet vertical area with enemies Boy, throwing axes like... and shooting arrows at us. Ooh! The clock tower wasn't that the only German level suplex cut. Is crazy. We also lost the cultist Gatling gun that had us dodging bullets left and right. Another area that is missing is the lava room. We sort of miss the fire-breathing dragon statues. Up in here, it's burning back by ya. U3 boss fight. U3 boss fight. That breath kick it. U3 boss fight, and it's sadly missing from the remake. For starters, U3 has a creepy design: a human-like face attached to the body of an insect with a giant pincher bug that will cut you in half if not careful. Hey, the suspense hey. of making your way through the suspended maze while dodging and popping shots at this freak of nature can get rather stressful. What a thing built like Kevin Durant. Paths being forced to face oh. this creature. It's a shame that we don't get to see this highly detailed U3. In nah, the I'm glad they kept it, it out. Been a oh my God, that thing is on your neck, bro. Hey. Yeah, yeah, you gotta shoot. You gotta shoot something at that thing. Assignment Ada and separate ways. Oh my God, Ada! Look how she just moving. These two extra campaigns may make their way to Resident Evil 4 Remake as DLC, just like the fan favorites Mercenaries mode. Separate Ways gives us a little more insight into what Ada was doing during Leon's adventure. Ada. Everything from her ringing the bingo bell to stopping the iconic knife fight between Leon and Krauser. Oh. Assignment Ada may not be canon, but it's still a fun little side story. It has Ada going after multiple Plaga samples for Wesker. These extra modes were a fun that way man, to mess Apple around Wesker, with other weapons and use no abilities chilling, that bro. Ada has. Hopefully, we'll see these in future DLCs, and hopefully just like the remake, they're reimagined and expanded upon. Punctual. I like that. Punctual. Laser hallway. <laughs> I'm being this. Next time events gone, we lost iconic set pieces. Go. The laser hallway always felt Ooh. a little out of place. Ooh, but that didn't okay, take away from Leon. Off Leon being a badass. Once we enter the hallway, we're okay, locked in. Nice. And must jump and lie, flip bro. our way around the lasers, or else 
they cut right All through raps, us. Raps, All raps. leading to him sitting on a throne like the king he is. It makes sense yeah, why this was let's cut. Go. Like I said, it was out of place and is a slower part of the game. But I always looked at it as he a thinks he's the, the thinker. first Resident Evil movie. Dice them. Dynamic difficulty. Bro was looking like a pineapple. That's the crazy. The original Resident Evil 4 had your typical difficulty settings. Normal, professional, and easy, which was only available outside of North America. If you were playing on normal difficulty, it was more of a sliding scale that shifted depending on how you Boy, played. That man, that man built the like more the accurate show. and less damage you take, the game would get harder, throwing more aggressive baddies at you, making you use more resources. Yeah, it's rad. If you were struggling on hitting your shots, taking more damage, and dying, the game would throw less enemies at you and give you more resources to give you a helping hand. This dynamic difficulty didn't make its way to the remake. Which is a shame. You guys think they do that for like, uh, for like games nowadays, just, just in general? After a few tries. I'm looking at you, Salazar. Boy, I ain't looking at him. That boy up. I know Cable I'm a car. brother. Wait. Oh! Another iconic set piece that is missing in the remake. Well, sort of. We can see it in the background, we just don't get to use it. The cable cars were a great portion of the game that would really test your long range accuracy. As we go down on the cable cars, enemies are on their way. Hey, I got a question. What console a shot, did, did uh, Resident Evil 4, able to throw like the original, in 2005, did it come out on both? The did it come out for both consoles or no? Leave it to me, Leon. Leave it up to me, Leon. How does Ashley know how to drive construction equipment? This is a she remake, she should, like, uses a wrecking ball. In the original, she somehow knows how to use an industrial bulldozer. I'm pretty During sure she section, said in the, in the campaign the that she used to like do something. I don't know. Obstacles in her path, all while we're in the back, I'm picking up it before I'll they reach be her. It's well, on the at subject of cut content the vehicles, the giant mobile drill is missing. We had to take the Boy, driver what type out of before the drill hit Ashley, as she was locked behind a door and couldn't escape. What's with these guys trying to run Ashley over? Oh my Another God, Ashley, it's over. The it's over. The truck tumbling down the hill right before we get to the castle. The gate. That wasn't a bat. The gate. What if we could somehow skip the Bella sisters? In the original Resident the Evil, right after we defend the house with Luis, we're greeted with a gate and an option, left or right. I'm going if right. If we go left, we'll encounter the chainsaw wielding Bella sisters. If we go right, we'll encounter another El Gigante that will chase us down a narrow path. If you're feeling up for an extra challenge, you could do both if you take the left path first and backtrack, giving you more treasure but using more of your ammo. This decision didn't make its way to the remake. We don't fight another El Gigante until the new fight at the castle. We do, well, however, they, still get to face hey, off you, with the Bella hey, sisters. Hey. Her chatter about moving, senorita. The biggest thing that's cut from Resident Evil 4 Remake has to do with the dialogue. Just like the 2021 Quest oh exclusive, my God. some dialogue was cut. Luckily, we have some funny campy lines like, Where's everyone going? Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> but some are missing. These lines are more flirty and sexual in nature and might not fly like they did back in 2005. No, Lines I mean... like the... Luis commenting on Ashley's ballistics. I see that the president's equipped his daughter with ballistics, too. Leon saying Ashley would be fine if she landed on her butt. I knew you'd be fine if you landed on your butt. And of course, Ashley asking Leon to work on some overtime. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um overtime yeah we can see that not flying these days yeah no thanks bro did you enjoy this yeah no nope, not not anymore no 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 it's wraps it's done <laughs> it's done not anymore you won't you won't catch those anymore it's wraps call it that comment down below what would you guys thought about this video and uh yeah I, I i really enjoyed this video and um yeah peace out bye take care um don't do drugs please don't it's not good for you and uh yeah. Bye.